everyone today i am rita verma talking on behalf of ministry of commerce and finance after a lot of discussion we came to conclusion that we would urgently need to focus on the following departments these are department of commerce department of financial services indirect tax and corporate affairs i would also like to mention that out of 132 crore only 82.7 million people pay taxes and it is too small in contrast to usa which has 45% of the population paying taxes also the revenue collection of india is must compare to other big countries these are the areas we would like to focus upon rest of our scheme will be discussed in following ppt now i would like to hand over the rest to my teammate thank you amrita i'll hand over the rest before starting the ppt i would like to share that we have concentrated on grant number 10 ministry of commerce grant number 29 ministry of financial services grant number 33 which is minister uh, indirect taxes and grant number 16 corporate taxes today's agenda includes financial services commerce indirect taxes and corporate affairs financial services insurance under the ayush bharat yojana 40% of the rural population has health insurance but we would like to extend this policy to the urban areas as well as and make sure people with less than a certain amount of income also get their health insurance done. so during the times of emergency and when they need medical assistance they don't lack money and the treatment goes smoothly not only health insurance but providing awareness about a lot of other insurances like life insurance and property insurance we can also provide life insurance to people involved in hazardous work so if any accidents occur and the person dies their family does not fall under crisis why is life insurance important on the column on the right side you can see different articles reporting the news news of various workers dying in industrial accidents according to the times of india report 40000 people die every day because of some industrial accidents now imagine if they were the only breadwinner of the family which is most likely the case since they were desperate enough to choose a life threatening job after the person's death the family becomes unstable since there is no income moreover the settlement money given to them isn't enough or is near to nothing in cases like these insurances help the family get on track and if there is a student in the family they can continue to pursue the studies loans the loan taking process in india is a hassle and lengthy process we would like to make it easier and short by providing financial literacy in rural rural as well as few urban areas the interest rate of education education loan should be made more lenient and students should be encouraged to take loans instead of choosing not to pursue their education because of financial barriers furthermore we would like to introduce a new policy where a person if taking a loan above a certain amount would have their passport listed and whenever they want to leave the country they would have to get approval from the concerned bank or rbi this would help in preventing penancy in loan payment cases commerce there are a lot of popular international banks which have captivated the global market we would like to encourage indian startups and businesses especially in the fashion industry to grow up to be mnc's and support the indian economy this also includes skill development and the promotion of small businesses to power them into being successful ones encouraging new startups would also include increase job opportunities assisting in the issues of unemployment for this we would have to collaborate with the ministry of skill development to make this come true indirect taxes we would like to apply taxes upon intoxicating products like tobacco cigarettes alcohol etc so that buying and selling becomes more complicated and less popular amongst the youth applying taxes to products from international brands makes local items more desirable also we would like to address the issue of gender bias taxes and make sure the same items whether being targeted towards the male audience or the female audience would cause the same there would also be no taxes on menstrual and maternity products to make sure the women don't find using those items a burden this would also assist the plans of ministry of women and minority affairs what is pink tax pink tax pink tax is a form of gender based pricing where women are typically charged more than men for the same product it's not a tax that is applied on products used by women rather it's supplementary price that requires people using feminine products to pay more and in the image on the left side you can see the razor targeted for the males cost less than the razor targeted from the female, for the females on the right image you, uh, on the image in the right side you can see the average cost a woman pays in, uh, in the form of pink tax have been calculated it's about 
1351 which is approximately 1,149.69 INR which is too much for being a woman women's razor are 6.28% more expensive women's deodorant is 8.9 more percent more expensive while women's moisturizer is 34.28% more expensive we would like to address this issue which is which should be addressed urgently corporate affairs the exploitation of labor and of natural resources of a particular area is very common among factories of mncs set up in these areas we would like to set up commissions working directly under the ias of the particular judiciary who would only be accountable to the center they would keep a check on the mncs and the procedures to make sure neither the natural resources or the laborers are exploited for instances like the bhopal gas tragedy there was a leakage in the gas because of mismanagement even after the incident the company did not take responsibility and just flew away the people living in the area suffered from the chemical reaction and after having contact with the toxic gases in the still suffer what are mncs it literally expands to multinational company a multinational company is a corporate organization that owns and controls the product of a good or product a production of goods or services in at least one country other than its home country mnc set up the offices and factories in these area offices and factories in those regions where they get cheap labor and the other resources because they bring down the cost of production and ensure more profits for themselves there is no limit to human greed they would want more and they would end up hiring laborers for a cheap cost which is way below the minimum working wage that is inr 176 per day and inr 4576 per month the laborers agree to work below the minimum working age because working wage because they are not aware of the working wage second the unemployment rate in india is so much especially in the rural areas that people are ready to work at any cost if they don't accept that salary and ask for more someone else will take it this leads to their exploitation as you know their minimum wage is so low on top of it they are given much less than what is supposed to be given imagine the financial crisis they must be in how would they pay their bills how would they fulfill their aspirations if they are just barely surviving their daily by introducing commissions to work under them we can work under the ias we can prevent the uh, prevent the above mentioned exploitations from happening the mind is just like a muscle the more you exercise it and the stronger it gets and the more it gets by irovo koenikan by this i like to end, end my presentation these are the sources we collected our information from thank you the ministry of finance and commerce